guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay. If you are new, I post Law of Attraction videos every single Wednesday and I call them Manifestation Wednesday videos. So if you are down for that, definitely hit that subscribe button. I also post videos every single Monday. Usually those are vlogs and then I'll also post a bonus video randomly throughout the weekend. So I post usually on average three times a week. So definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button and come join the family. Today's Law of Attraction video is going to be about detachment and letting go. So I'm going to first explain to you guys what detachment is. There is the law of attraction and then there is the law of detachment and the two coincide and work together. The law of detachment is basically letting go of any manifestations that you are trying to manifest so that you can be open to receiving them and letting them flow into your life. So why do we need to detach? What's the purpose of this? How does this all work? When you hold on to something, anything, whether that's a person, whether that's an object, whether that's that's a circumstance, you create attachment and a need for that thing or circumstance. And when I say a need, whenever you need something or in order for something to happen, I feel like it creates the visualization of the lack of it because you don't have it and you need it. So when you hold on to those needing feelings and hold on to your manifestations without detaching and letting go, you tend to create a lower vibration towards that manifestation because you are attached to it and you're giving your power to these external circumstances rather than having the power yourself. You obsess over your manifestation and in turn create negative emotions when you are thinking about your manifestation and that could be like an obsessive um, attachment that could be needing and the lack of it. So creating these negative emotions basically is doing the opposite of what you're trying to do. You're trying to attract it, but because you're vibing out negative energy and negative vibrations towards your manifestation, you won't get it. When you become attached to something, you're so focused on the lack of it in your life and that's your focus. Your focus is the need and the attachment and the lack of it. And because your thoughts create your reality, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the lack of your manifestation and in turn you're slowing down the process of attracting anything that you want into your life like I said when we allow ourselves to get attached to a specific idea or need of a manifestation we give our power to that external circumstance like we won't be happy until we get this and that erases the power that we have within ourselves. and you're letting your emotions and your life be driven based on something that's external from you that's not even inside of you you need to take power you need to take control of your life and you need to take control of your thoughts and make sure that you're vibing out high vibration and that you are associating positive vibrations with your manifestation, which is why you need to release and let go. Now there's a difference between detachment and quitting your manifestation. Detachment means that you are taking control and you're taking power and you actually know that that thing is coming to you and you feel the feelings of happiness, joy, excitement. It's just like an overwhelming good feeling. You feel powerful. When you quit your manifestation, like you give up, that's when you associate negative energy and vibration towards that manifestation. So if you're having a hard time figuring out if you are detaching from it or if you're letting it go, like completely quitting it, focus on your emotions towards it. Are you having good emotions towards it or are you having bad emotions towards it? When you have the bad emotions towards it, that's when you've noticed that you've actually quit, not letting it go and detaching from it. So definitely take a look deeper into yourself, become more self-aware. That is how you differ between if you are detached from it or if you're actually like quitting and giving up on it. So for example, if you're trying to manifest a relationship and you see other people's relationships and you get jealous of people and you've detached yourself from attracting a soul partner or a soul mate or whatever it's called, when you look at other people and you get jealous or you think this is never going to happen to me and you just feel like so negative about your soulmate or your love life in general, that is a process of giving up. That's not detachment. If you look at it and you see people that are in love and happy and it brings you joy and you're excited for this to happen to you and you just feel so happy and optimistic about the future, that is when you know that you've detached from your manifestation rather than like 
quitting. So detachment and letting go definitely helps you become aware more in the present. It helps you understand and become more self-aware and in turn you will attract your manifestations much more quickly. So I read something in a book like a quite a while ago. I completely forgot which book it was. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Blank, um, which I can leave linked down below, but I'm pretty sure it was that book. So the book basically explains the metaphor of the butterfly. Um, when you're trying to chase a butterfly or trying to catch a butterfly and you keep running towards the butterfly and trying to catch it and trying to catch it, the butterfly runs away and it's really hard to get to it and it seems so far fetched and it gets further away from you. But then when you tend to just become in the present, sit in the present moment, forget, detach from trying to get the butterfly, it ends up landing on your arm with ease and comfort and without you trying so hard. So that's kind of like a good metaphor for like what detachment is and something that um, makes a lot of sense to a lot of people, which I really personally um, love that story of the butterfly. So I'm gonna give you guys three steps to kind of detaching or like when to detach from your manifestation. So the first step is going to be like visualizing, figuring out and like researching what you want. What is your manifestation? Dig down deep into your manifestations, associate a feeling with them, try to make it not a physical object, but like what it's going to bring you, all that fun stuff. Step two is to raise your vibration in accordance to your manifestation. So live your life according to your manifestation and live and associate happy feelings with when you already have that. So for example, like if you're trying to manifest um, a car or something, what is that car gonna bring to you and live like you already have it? Because you can't say like, oh, I'll be happy when I get my car. Or I'll do this when this happens. Um, just literally feel the feelings and live like you already have it and associate the negative or the the negative the high vibrations when you have that object what it's going to bring to you and live like you already have that when you do this you're associating your vibration in accordance to when you already have it which you're kind of like matching up your life um it's kind of hard to explain but you're matching up like your feelings for when you have your manifestation and you're living in accordance to your manifestation step three is just to remain in the present focus on the now and replace like whatever thoughts you have and kind of release let go and let it flow into your life like take opportunities that come your way take action according to your manifestation but don't obsess and don't get attached to your manifestation um something that i like to do is i like to clear my headspace i can either meditate i'll do yoga or work out um cooking is a really good way to do it i love to clean um, giving yourself like a little spa day just kind of gear your focus and your thoughts onto something else that will help you raise your vibration in the process but also just kind of detach yourself from that manifestation but make sure that you're detaching rather than like quitting so that was it for this video i know it was kind of like a shorter video um, but i just definitely wanted to let you guys know the power of the law of detachment it's super super important and it's key for manifesting things into your life and i've had a lot of questions about detachment and letting go in my comments before so i definitely wanted to make this video for you guys again if you guys have any other law of attraction video requests or just video requests in general please let me know thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys all in another video. Bye guys.